Come 2020, Jamaicans can expect to see the implementation of the regulations with the updated Road Traffic Act. The move follows the decision by the government to implement aspects of the new Road Traffic Act while the regulations that will govern the law are still being worked on. The new rules will take effect as of January 24, 2020. The act was passed in February 2018 and will repeal the current 80-year-old law. Transport Minister Robert Montague gave an update in an interview with Frontline News. What we are working on now is the regulations to the Road Traffic Act. And one of the things, one of the regulations we have now decided because of the long consultation is to take out sections and implement. So come January 24, we, nobody in Jamaica will be allowed to get a learner's license unless you pass a written road code test. So we, are, we, are, we have already implemented some of the regulations establishing the Island Traffic Authority as the implementing agency of the new Road Traffic Act. But because of the situation with the ticketing system yes. in, in order to coordinate with the Ministry of Justice and Transport Authority, we also have to be amending that act. So while that legislative process is going and while CPC is drafting those, we, are, we will be implementing the easier parts of the regulation. Mr. Montague also noted the increasing concerns regarding the disobedience of road laws by public transport sector workers. We have now employed an additional 50 inspectors that were gazetted on Friday for the Transport Authority and the police is also stepping up the pace. But we have, we have just launched an app, well we are going to launch an app within the next two weeks to allow the public to videotape and take cameras. We now do it through WhatsApp yes. and we are asking persons if you see people breaking the law to make the report to the Transport Authority. And even the route association and the various taxi and bus associations are on board because we're all joined together to stamp out in discipline and to provide for Jamaican a professional, high standard, first class trans public transportation system. The Transport Minister was speaking at the JLP's 76th Annual Conference on Sunday. Kimberly Broderick, Frontline News.